Hi and welcome to Skater by Anuda, our take on high performance HMI, which states that uh, we should turn data into information and do so in a way that we draw special attention to any critical information. That's also why you see everything here in, uh, in grayscale and uh, we have removed all kinds of animations and flashy things that are not necessary. Let me first demonstrate, this is built in uh, ignition perspective. That means it's a fully responsive solution, so I can resize the uh, solution and it adapts automatically to the size that I have chosen. Uh, and we can of course uh, start a simulation. We have a, a simulation thing running on the, under the hood here. Uh, and I will come ba more back to all the, the symbols and how it works. In a, in a second. Uh, but for now, let's just say that uh, we have decided to build this around a beer brewing process just for the fun of it. We need something fun to have to build this around. So instead of just having a list of components, we made a beer brewing process. So without further ado, let's jump into the nitty gritty details of this. What you'll see here also, also is that the, the symbols they have uh, states. So they have different colors, whether we have them open and running as here. So this one is running, uh, this one is stopped. Uh, and that is indicated in the way they are uh, colored and as a symbol. And we use color on process values as well. So that all process values uh, are in a different color and are also in a slightly increased font size to make it very easy to see that this is a a process value, whereas uh, on top here is simply a, uh, a, a text saying what this is. So that is a part of the high performance HMI. So let's have a look at faceplates. Uh, a faceplate is uh, the next level in, in the SCADA solution where you can dive into uh, the information about the, the symbol. So let's try to have a look at this uh, frequency controlled motor here. So I open the, the faceplate and as you can see, I can move it around uh, to my liking. I can even, if I need that and if it's uh, something I need, I can open multiple uh, faceplates at the same time and move them where I like to compare things. So the, the faceplate here consists of sections so they individual sections and what we essentially have in, in, uh, in the building blocks is a number of um, sections that are put together to form a, a faceplate. So the faceplate has an alarming section and a main section and <coughs> it has intuitive uh, HMI because the right now it is uh, blatantly obvious that uh, the uh, symbol here, the component that we're talking about, is running in auto mode uh, and uh, we do that by simply having a, a green color on here. But we also use a, an e icon uh, to make it clear for people who might have uh, problems with color blindness. Uh, if you look at the other uh, buttons here, we use a Hoover Over uh, functionality where they get a small uh, shade where you w if it's clickable. Uh, whereas this one down here obviously is not clickable, it's not active in, uh, at the time being. So this is how we indicate uh, symbols and, and uh, states of symbols. So have, let's have a look at the alarming here. So uh, we can simulate an alarm uh, on, a, on one of the symbols here. So this motor is currently in alarm, uh, so there is a frame around it and it's blinking, it's flashing because it's it's in alarm state. I could open the faceplate again and we can see the same thing here that the uh, symbol here is uh, in alarm. We can even see down here in the alarm section what is the problem. I can acknowledge the alarm, then it stops the blinking, uh, but it's still there because the alarm is still active. If I move the alarm or reset the alarm, uh, remove the alarm from, from being active, then it's no longer there. But I can put it in again. And I can of course go to the alarming section of the uh, faceplate and I can block all alarms on that component if I need to do so. 
uh, that will bring up a small symbol here that the uh, uh, small icon on the symbol that the alarm is blocked. So let's remove that one again and close this one and take away the uh, alarming here. And let's have a look at the um, alarm status table. And here we see that we had the the latest alarm here I, that I triggered a few minutes ago, a few seconds ago actually. Um, and here I have a list of all the latest alarms, uh, and I could also look at the uh, I could also acknowledge the alarms from the alarm status table if I wanted to do that. So let's have a look at trend analysis. Uh, it's a huge, imp a very important part of any SCADA solution is to look at historical data and Ignition has a very powerful tool for that called the power chart. Uh, I can either open that uh, here in the from the top menu and have a look at uh, it here, but I can also do something super clever. I can open it directly from a process value so I will get, in this case, I get the past two minutes. I could uh, change that if I if I wanted to. But uh, here I have the past two minutes. There's nothing running right now. We could start the simulation again uh, and uh, have uh, values coming in in a, in a second here because we see the, uh, the, the temperature here is now uh, rising in a second. And we can add more uh, values to the uh, simply by clicking on them, they will be added to the power chart. I can remove all pins again, and I can uh, add them once more if I like, and I can move this around and and add values to the um, trend tool. So, last but not least, we have made a PID controller uh, and. Uh, we will not go into the nitty-gritty details in this uh, brief walkthrough of how a PID controller works. Um, you can read about that elsewhere. Uh, but here you can have fun with uh, putting the, the PID controller in auto and let it run. And you can actually uh, have a look again using the, uh, the power chart here of how the <coughs> the PID controller is uh, is playing around with the with the values. So have fun and uh, play around with uh, how to set up values in the PID controller. There's a, a little bit of information put down here for those who need that. Uh, but other than that, we say have fun and uh, uh, play around with the uh, with the PID controller. So that's it for the. Uh, uh, for the demonstration purpose and the walkthrough of uh, the uh, Skater by Nuda. So have fun and play around and have a look at how it works. Thank you very much for your attention.